Howdy, it's Chuck with Simply Nuck, and today I'm going to show you a great new product from the Intel Nuck division. This is the new pinnacle of computing power for the Intel Nuck division, and we're going to, to start with our standard unboxing, and then we're going to take a look at the inside, and we're going to dig through, talk about the specs and everything. So let's get started. So as you can tell from my comparison of the size of my hands, that this is not your traditional four inch by four inch nook. This is a much larger nook. Uh, the uh, traditional nook was about 0.6 liters. The Hades Canyon was about one liter of volume, and this is uh, uh, five liters of volume. All right, so we've got, uh, so let's go ahead and get her out. she is let's take a look at the box there she is uh, we've got a um, a standoff for SSD we've got a standard US to C13 power cord which is different because normally there is a uh, power brick oh, we've got some manuals take a look at that and that's it Let's get the box out of the way. All right, so we've got our regulatory model and the safety information. This is like in 46 languages. And then we have the user guide. So as you can see, this is obviously not the standard nook that you've all come to love. This is a lot larger. And we'll show you why. Uh, it comes with a nice user guide that shows the front ports, back ports, how to plug it in, and so on. So next we'll take a look at the outside of it. Okay, next we're going to take a look at all, all of the external features of the Quartz Canyon. Uh, the Quartz Canyon and the Ghost Canyon are identical chassis other than a skull that's painted on the side panels of the Ghost Canyon. So we're going to start with the front. We have a uh, much larger power button with an illuminated ring, full-size SD card slot, two USB 3.1 Gen 2 10 gigabit uh, USB ports on the front, and we have an HD audio port. This is four pins, so it supports uh, full headsets uh, with microphone and speakers or speakers or a microphone. All right, taking a look at the sides, you can kind of see the side is rippled on the Quartz Canyon. The Quartz Canyon, this Quartz Canyon is a pre-production model and um, fairly represents the production product. The main difference is, as we can see from the bottom, it's missing some of the regulatory uh, logos and says it's an engineering sample. Intel sends me uh, pre-production units uh, so I can shoot videos and do evaluations and performance testing, start uh, generating all of our manufacturing processes. Uh, in this case, for the Ghost Canyon, they sent me an early prototype uh, that we've been playing with for a few months, and uh, a few days ago we got in our pre-production quartz units, and that's what I'm showing here today. But I will show you parts from the other one. The ventilation here is for the power supply to get some extra air for cooling the power supply. The other side is uh, ridged the same way. Uh, in the top, you can see there's some kind of uh, blower fans in there. We'll be able to see those better here in a second. And then looking at the back, you can see that we have a C14 AC uh, jack. And so we can support international cords. This goes from 100 to 230 volt AC, 50 or 60 hertz. So this uh, will operate worldwide with different power cords. We have a cooling fan for the 500 watt power supply that's built into the base. We have a Kensington lock. The Kensington lock holds this top panel on, which is how you access the unit. These two captured uh, number one Phillips head screws is how you open it. We'll show you that in a minute. 
We have what looks to be four card slots. Two of them are taken up with the Intel Nook Element H series. At Simply Nook, we either call this the, the Nook Element or the Blade uh, to try to avoid confusion with another product totally different that Intel is calling it the uh, Compute Element U series. And then you can see we have two more slots, and this will take a full height, uh, eight inch long plug in cards, up to two of them, or a double wide GPU card. Typically, these are called uh, ITX GPU boards. All right, looking at the I.O., we have four more USB 3.1 Gen 2 10 gigabit ports. We have two Intel server class gigabit Ethernet ports. On this unit, they both support uh, AMT for remote wake-up and for remote management. The drivers for uh, these are supported both under like uh, Microsoft Server, VMware, and so on. We have a full-size HDMI port, which also has Keck. There's a pin called the CEC pin, and that pin goes off to your TV set and allows the Nook to turn on or off the TV set. We have a 3.5 millimeter four-pin HD audio jack. This is output only, so this is to drive either analog speakers or there's also an optical link in here, so you have toss link. Uh, we have two USB 3.1 Gen 2 Type-C connectors that also have alternate display port on them and Thunderbolt 3. So these are both Thunderbolt 3 uh, capable as well as display ports. On the HDMI or either display port connector, you have 7.1 surround sound uh, digital audio. All right, I wanted to show you a size uh, comparison between the Hades Canyon and the Quartz Canyon. Now the Quartz Canyon and the Ghost Canyon are identical other than a skull being painted on the side for the chassis and then there's some different CPU offerings. So you can see the height is about the same as the Hades. The uh, depth is a little bit longer to accommodate um, eight inch uh, video cards. And of course the width is um, is a little bit different. So the this is a about a one liter the Hades Canyon gaming rig, and this is about this is a little over uh, five liter. It's actually five point zero seven. We just call it a five liter and a one liter. And what you're looking at is two great gaming rigs. The Hades Canyon is still a relevant uh, gaming rig. It's going to bring in a lower uh, cost point. It's highly portable, um, great gaming capabilities uh, in the size package that can drop in your uh, backpack and go all the way around the world with you. But the flexibility of the Quartz Canyon and Ghost Canyon is changes in CPUs and then also plug-in video and, and there's uh, two plug-in slots so you can add other I.O. All right, thank you very much.